Hello everyone. In this video, we will be talking about how to adapt a scale and we'll talk about uh, whether adaptation of a scale uh, is the only option or we have also the option of adopting the scale. Okay, so let's move forward. So essentially, a researcher, an organizational researcher has two options available when they're in search of a scale for a variable either they can adopt a scale or they can adapt a scale in this video we'll be using customer satisfaction as our example variable throughout our uh, presentation throughout our uh, video so whether we adopt a scale or adapt a scale in our research it's it, it largely depends on the objective of research and the type of operationalization of a variable uh, available to us. So for example, if you feel that adopting a scale, which essentially means that a scale, you know, you know using a scale, uh, using a published scale as it is, if you feel that that fully fulfills the objective of our research, we should be adopting a scale. Likewise, we have to look at the operationalization of that uh, construct or the variable, which essentially means we have to look at the items of that variable. If we feel that the items of the variable fully justify uh, the concept of customer satisfaction that we want to capture, that we want to explore in our study, we should be taking, we should be using, we should be adopting a scale. Other way around, if we feel that the uh, using and using you know an available scale a published scale uh, doesn't fulfill the objective of our research uh, effectively and the operationalization of that sc available scale is doesn't sit well with the, the type of customer satisfaction that we want to measure in our context then we have the other option available which is adapting a scale so what do we mean by adopting a scale? Uh, diving a little deeper here, uh, adapting a scale refers to when we use uh, publish items of variables as they are. That means we do not make any type of contextual or lexical changes in them. Since, we've, uh, since we have already established, we have already talked about it, that if we feel that an available scale fully fulfills our requirement, we do not need to make any changes and when we do not make any changes in any available scale, we use as they are in our research, we call it adapt, adoption of a scale or adopting a scale. Well, this is the most recommended. This is the most recommended approach, but in many ways, it may not be practical for the researcher. And uh, it also, it, it may, you know, also lead to invalid findings um, if we adopt the scale as it is when we uh, knowing the fact that you know it, it doesn't really fulfill the objective of our research, it doesn't the the, uh, the operationalization, which essentially means the items of the item of the of the construct are not what we are exactly willing to we, what we are not exactly aiming to capture. Uh, so then the, the so then we go ahead and we adapt the scale. We we make small changes in the scale. So. Let's take a look at example of how to adopt a scale, ADOPT, right here. Uh, the reason I'm trying to be very specific here, so there is no confusion between, between adopting a scale and adapting a scale. Adopting a scale means we use the scale as it is, as it is available to us. And adapting a scale, that means we make smaller, very you know, minimum changes according to our context and the, and the objective of research. Okay, so let's have a look at an example of um, adopting a scale. Okay, so for example, we are conducting a research called customer satisfaction in fast food restaurants in China, and we do a literature research, a literature search, and we identify one uh, study that has customer satisfaction scale, uh, which is pretty similar to what we what we, what we plan to do. We may use that scale as it is without making any changes. And let me show you. Okay, let me show you. Okay. So for example, uh, while searching for a suitable scale, scale for my research, I found out this study that has uh, assessed, that has explored customer satisfaction and service environment in USA. 
and I scroll down and scroll down to this level and I see that well there you go they have customer satisfaction items available so let's jump back to our, uh, our okay okay so just to make it just to make it simpler I have copied those items here so let's take a look at those items here you know, the number one item says I'm satisfied with my decision to visit this hotel motel uh, would you agree to say my choice to say at this, say at this hotel motel was a wise one so much and so on well here's the thing in order to adopt this scale we need to critically analyze this scale we need to look at whether this is what we are looking for this is what we this is what we aim to measure when we measure customer satisfaction in uh, food restaurants in China okay so if you feel that everything's okay we can go ahead adopt it and if you feel that there's something wrong we'll talk about that later let's first take a look at how can we critically evaluate it all right so number one uh, like, I exp uh, like I've already explained objective of the research and the operationalization of the research is very important number uh, and other thing we need to take a look at is the language of scale if we believe the language scale is simple enough for our respondent or uh, other way around is uh, sophisticated enough for our respondent depending the type of respondent we want to we want to engage in our research if, you, if you're okay with the language uh, language of the scale fine the first concern is out of the window let's go to the next concern the context of the scale is uh, industry brand specific okay if you take a look at here if you take a look at here let me highlight here okay these um, actually since it has been adopted from a service industry and specifically this scale was used for hotel and motel customers so and uh, also and it's coincidentally our our context is also fast food restaurant so for me for me in my in my opinion in my humble opinion um, it's it's almost it, it, this, this is something similar to what we were looking for so as far as the context is concerned I'm pretty okay with that because in both cases it's the service you know is a service uh, that we, we that in the, it's, it is in the service environment that we would like to that we would like to uh, you know uh, uh, capture we would like to measure customer satisfaction in so I think the context is also okay the second concern is also out we're okay with the context of the items and then items are formed as a question statement well uh, if if a researcher feel that well it's fine to you, you know to ask question to ask uh, to ask each item as a as a question statement then it's also fine uh, you know it really depends on the researcher whether they're okay with this or not so let's just for the sake of example let's assume that for the sake of example let's assume that uh, we are okay with the with we are okay with the question statement okay and then the last one items are reverse coded sometime we also see the negative uh, statements here um, okay if that's not your concern apparently in our scale there are no negative statement okay so if these none of these concern exists if none of these concern is your concern in the in this scale then you can adopt it as it is adopted right a d o p t again you can adopt it as it is without much worried much worrying about anything else since you feel that the current available scale fully fulfills the objective of your research the context of context of your research and you you feel that your respondent will be will be able to uh, will be able to effectively understand and answer uh, answer the, these questions these items uh, as per your requirement however what to do if you are not satisfied however if you're not uh, what to do if you're not satisfied with these with these items with this scale uh, with this available public publicly available publicly published and available scale well then the solution is in adapting the scale that means we're going to option number two adapting the scale okay so again how to adapt a scale Again, our, our research title is Customer Satisfaction in Fast Food Interest, uh, Restaurants. And uh, again, our, the variable that we would like to adopt, uh, that we would like to adapt, is Customer Satisfaction. And again, we need to critically review each item and we need to look at whether these items fully, 
um, you know, effectively fulfill the objective of research. And if you see, if you see here, if you look at here, I've, identif I've identified my concern, my concern in red here. All right. So in the first one, we adopted in the first example where adoption of the scale was the question. We adopted the scale as it is, uh, figuring out, understanding, or establishing that none of these are concerned. What if we have these concerns, or any of these concerns, or you know, all of these concerns? In that case, we go for adaption of scale. And uh, if that's the case, so let me give you an example here. Uh, the areas I've identified in red, actually, these are my concern here. I believe, would you agree to say it's just, it's just redundant, it's just extra here, and uh, it just takes too much place here, it just, you know, put, uh, you know, just additional cognitive uh, load uh, on my respondent. So I think this should not be there. Likewise, I believe the question mark statement, I don't like them. I'm of those opinion, I'm of those researchers, those believe that the most state, you know, uh, the passive positive and passive statements um, items are most effective. And as a result, I strike out these, I strike out these areas, uh, which essentially means, would you agree to say, I take out all these statements from all my items, likewise question mark, you know, also go out of the window and we are left with this. And if you look at here, I have left out, I've, I've also highlighted hotel and motel in, in blue, just to show you that I have a highlight, I've, I've left them as it is. This is the context of my study and I've left them as it is because I believe it's similar to, it's quite, quite you know, close to the context of my study is, which is fast food restaurant, where again about food and service, mostly about. So, I have not changed the content of the item, they, they are there, however, those extra areas, those extra things I've removed, I've removed the question mark and I've made them simple passive statement, right, with the period at the end of each statement, okay. So what if I had, what if I had, uh, what if we had instead of hotel, motel here, some type of airline service discussion, then we had to, we had to change this as well, right, we had to change this as well. However, here in, uh, uh, you, know, you know, the slide you see here, in, at this stage, in this st state, uh, my items are now adapted. My items are now adapted. Why? Uh, because I felt those statements were extra there. I didn't like those statements and I felt, and when I adapted the scale, I made sure that, you know, the crux, you know, the main, uh, the main context of the main context or, you know, the main concept of the, a variable that's not compromise, right? Uh, okay, so this is what adaption of a scale is. Here in this case, I have adapted the scale. Let's take a look at another example. Let's take a look at another example. For, for example, I am, while I was searching for, while I was searching for uh, customer satisfaction scale, from the available literature and I found this study which is which was conducted specifically in China and I thought well why not let's take a look at can we can we adapt can we adopt or adapt the scale from this study so we went straight to let's go straight to okay so these are the questionnaire these are the these are the this is the questionnaire and that's this is where you know this is where customer satisfaction which is our which is which is our uh, you know the, our interest variable here, and these are the four items, and this is the source from where they have adopted. However, there is a small issue with this with this uh, with this uh, scale. Uh, let me go back to my slide. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay. However, there is a small issue, and what is that issue? Can you see that? Okay, I believe uh, many of you uh, would be able to spot that. These are, these are not full complete statements, rather these are, these are the main, these are the main keyword, these are the main uh, concept that each of this item is capturing and all these items uh, together capturing the concept of customer satisfaction, the variable customer satisfaction, uh, customer satisfaction. So since these are not complete statement, what do I need to do? I need to make complete statement and that when I make complete statement of the, each of these items that's again 
adapting the scale. Uh, look here what I've done here. I have, um, so my first item was satisfied with dining and I, I added, uh, you know, the area you see in the blue, the, con the context, uh, the, uh, you know, the content you see in blue, that's, this, this is where, this is what I have added. So I am satisfied with dining at this restaurant. Well, I believe this should be, this would, uh, this would be much less confusing. This would be, this would be a very s straight and simple forward uh, to understand for my respondent. Likewise, I have done, uh, I have added, it is a wise choice to dine at this restaurant. Dining at this restaurant is the right thing. Dining is an enjoyable experience at this restaurant. So the, 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 the content I have added, uh, I have added in the statement uh, is highlighted in blue, while the content that we found out in the, in the published study was satisfied with dining, wise choice, right thing, enjoyable experience, highlighted in black. And again, I made sure that, I made sure when I tried to adapt the scale, I tried to make sure, I, I made sure that number one, I do a minimum adaption as much as possible, right, one. Uh, when I say minimum, that means I do not tamper with the, I do not tamper, I do not compromise on the validity of the scale, on the main concept of the scale. And these black, the, the area, the, the content highlighted in blue, this is what is the main, that is what the main concept, that is what, these are the, th this is what the main concept of each item is, right? Okay. So now if you understand what do you mean by adopting a scale or adapting a scale, a few cautions and recommendation when, when, when a researcher uh, decides to adapt a scale, number one, adapt only, adapt only if no other scale is available that can be adopted. So adoption of scale remains our first uh, first uh, you know priority however like i said in many in many situations it's not possible adoption and ad, rather adaption must not affect the validity of the construct again like i said don't adapt in a manner that that temper with the main concept of the construct okay minimum possible addition should be there avoid reverse coded negative items if possible um, however, there are other researchers who believe that reverse coded items bring more reliability and validity to the questionnaire. I'm one of those, you know, I'm one of those researchers who believe that negative items cause more trouble than, you know, than, than they make any uh, positive, um, what do you call, uh, you know, uh, addition to our research, to our uh, constructs. Okay, so have an expert review validate your adapted scale it is recommended that after you have adapted the scale uh, you know engage some type you know uh, and uh, what do you call subject expert and ask them to review your adapted scale and validate uh, to give you some so you know just to let you know if that uh, adaption pr process your adaption process has not tempered the main construct you know the main concept of the construct and then it's also recommended that you do pre-testing for the adapted scale before collecting the final responses. Pre-testing is recommended, you know, is, you know, between 15 to 30 respondents whom you will not be, whom you will not be including, including in your final responses. And then lastly, uh, running exploratory factor analysis, EFA is also recommended to validate adapted, adapted scale. If you are uh, willing to read more about adaption of scale, uh, this is the this is one of the you know one of the uh, recommended article. I would recommend you to go ahead and uh, read it, and I hope you'll be able to uh, draw uh, you know some useful guidelines. That's about it. Uh, thank you very much.